Tor is renowned for its security, encrypting and bouncing data you send all over the internet between different relays to make sure it's well and truly private. But did you know you can even set up the Tor proxy on the ever versatile Raspberry Pi, ensuring your online safety when you use the plucky single board computer? Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is how to set up a Tor proxy with Raspberry Pi. Are you worried about online privacy? I think most of us are in some small way. Perhaps you're concerned with protecting your personal information from online marketers and advertisers who may want to use your data without your permission or sell your information to a third party, God forbid. Regardless of your motivations, the Tor network is one of the most popular ways to avoid all forms of online surveillance. In this video, you'll learn how to set up a Tor proxy on Raspberry Pi and use it to automatically route your traffic via Tor every time you connect to your home network. What is a Tor proxy server? A proxy server acts as an intermediary for clients that are requesting resources from a server such as a file or a website. When you set up a Tor proxy server, all of your traffic gets redirected via the Tor network. Every packet of data that you send Tor is encrypted and decrypted multiple times and redirected through several relays that are randomly selected from the thousands of relays that make up the Tor network. This way you can conceal your location and activity from anyone who may be watching your network. This includes concealing the websites you visit, the messages you send and any posts you make. Many people access Tor via the free Tor browser but this requires you to set up the browser on every single device where you access the internet. If you want to use the Tor network across all your devices or surf the web anonymously using your existing web browser then it's often easier to set up a Tor proxy server which is what you are about to learn. What you'll need. To complete this tutorial you will need a Raspberry Pi that's running Raspberry Pi OS, power cable that's compatible with your Raspberry Pi, external keyboard and a way to attach it to your Raspberry Pi, HDMI or micro HDMI cable depending on your model of Raspberry Pi, external monitor and an Ethernet cable if not connecting over Wi-Fi. Getting started. Before you begin, it's a good idea to check that you're running the latest version of Raspberry Pi OS. Open the terminal and type the following command. sudo apt update ampersand ampersand sudo apt minus y upgrade. If it does install one or more updates, then reboot your Raspberry Pi by running the following command. sudo reboot. Install Tor on your Raspberry Pi. You can install Tor using the single terminal command sudo apt install Tor. You'll now have two services running on your Raspberry Pi, tor.service and tor at default.service. The tor service is merely a dummy service that only appears active. To check that the real tor at default service is running, use the following terminal command, sudo systemctl status tor at default.service. If the terminal returns an active message, you're ready to move on to the next step. Configure your tor proxy server. Set up your proxy server by making some changes to Tor's configuration file. Before editing this Tor file, it's a good idea to create a backup. sudo cp slash etc slash tor slash tor rc slash etc slash tor slash tor rc dot backup. Now that you have a backup, create a simple configuration that will expose the Tor SOX proxy service on port 9050 and accept connections from the local LAN. To open the Tor configuration file for editing, run the following command sudo nano slash etc slash tor slash tor rc. This file will now launch in the nano text editor. First, specify the SOX port, which is the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. You can retrieve this information, of course, by running the following terminal command hostname i. Take this IP address and add the port number colon 9050. For example, if the Raspberry Pi's address is 192.168.1.111, then add the following to the configuration file. SOX port 192.168.1.111 colon 9050. Add the following to the nano text editor, making sure to replace SOX port with your own value. Once you've made the changes, save the file by pressing Ctrl O and Ctrl X to close. To restart the tool service with your new configuration, run the following command sudo systemtl restart tor at default.service Connect your Tor proxy from any web browser. 
Now we need to connect to the Raspberry Pi server using all the major web browsers. Note that you'll typically connect to your Raspberry Pi using its IP address. As previously stated, you can retrieve this information by running hostname-i in the Raspberry Pi terminal. Mozilla Firefox. Let's start by configuring Firefox to use your SOX proxy server. In Firefox's upper right corner, select the three line icon. Select Preferences. In the menu on the left, select General. Scroll to the network settings and give its accompanying settings button a click. In the subsequent connection settings window, select the Manual Proxy Configuration checkbox. In the SOX host field, enter the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. In port, enter 9050. Make sure the SOX v5 checkbox is selected and click OK. Close and relaunch Firefox, it should now be using the Tor network. Google Chrome and other Chromium based browsers. To point Google Chrome in the direction of your proxy server, do the following. In Chrome's upper right hand corner, select the three dot icon, select Settings. In the menu on the left, navigate to Advanced and System. Select Open your computer's proxy settings. The next steps will vary depending on your operating system. For Mac OS, Chrome should have already launched your network proxies menu. In this window, select SOX Proxy. In SOX Proxy Server, enter the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. In the accompanying text box, enter the port number 9050. And then save your changes by clicking OK, Apply. Close and then relaunch Chrome. When it relaunches, it should be already using the Tor network. On Windows, if you're on a Windows PC, then Google Chrome should have launched the Internet Options window. In this window, select the LAN Settings button. Select the following checkbox, Use a proxy server for your LAN. Then click Advanced. In the SOX section, enter your Raspberry Pi's IP address. For port, enter 9050. And then click Save or Apply. Relaunch Google Chrome. It should now be communicating with your Tor proxy server. Apple Safari. If you're using Apple's Safari browser, then in the Safari toolbar, select Safari Preferences. Select the Advanced tab, find Proxies and select its accompanying Change Settings button. In the menu on the left, select SOX Proxy. In SOX Proxy Server, enter the IP address of your Raspberry Pi and in the accompanying text field, of course, enter the port number 9050. Then save your changes by clicking OK or Apply. Don't forget to relaunch Safari to use the Tor network. You should be now using the Tor network, but it never hurts to check. In the web browser that you're configured to use Tor, head over to the Tor website. If you see this message, then congratulations, you're successfully routing all of your traffic via Tor. So there we are. You've learned in this tutorial how to transform a Raspberry Pi into a Tor proxy server. If you find this too complicated, you could just install Tor browser on your USB drive and bring it wherever you go, booting it from the USB. Alternatively, you can make Tor faster with some of our favorite tips. Links in the description. Okay, as always, thanks so much for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.